Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today I'm going to make a very detailed video about controllers working with your Mac as well as your Windows. And we're going to talk about PlayStation controllers and 360 controllers, uh, whether they're wired or wireless. I'm going to show you everything from downloading drivers and setting up the keys for specific games. Uh, we're going to give you visuals because I have the pictures up here. And I'm going to show you three uh, pieces of software, maybe even four pieces of software that you can use that will totally give you a full-fledged ultimate guide to setting up controllers. Let's get started. Okay, first things first. There's two systems here we're talking about, Windows and Mac OS X. So if you wanted to hook up your 360 controller to your Mac, you need to install drivers and you need to install this software, which happens to be a system preference. Now, if you wanted to hook it up to Windows, Windows automatically, if you have it wired, will automatically connect um, this 360 controller to your Windows computer, uh, any version, any, you know, 8.1 or Windows 7, and it will you'll be able to use it on Windows no problem. Now, if you have a problem doing this, I'm going to show you. There's a website that you can go to, and it's here. And you go to Microsoft's website. You go down to gaming, and there's two sets of drivers that you can download uh, right here. Now, Windows has its own software that configures uh, the buttons and... Uh, allows you to see your buttons and and get your buttons to show up on your windows but like I said with the Mac you have to download this this software here and you get this software from this website here which is called Ta Taddy Bogle and you scroll down to here in this area right here and you download the driver here when you download this, you install it on your computer like a DMG. Uh, what we'll do is you'll have to restart your computer and then it will show up in system preferences. And right here at the bottom. So you click it and now you're here. And you can see all your buttons and everything. And that is how you do it with Mac. With Windows, it looks a little different. It's very built into Windows. Uh, software and you'll be able to use your 360. Now if it's wireless you can go website here and you can download uh, you can buy one of these adapters here you connect it to your Windows computer and you can also connect it to your Mac computer uh, using that software that I showed you and you'll be able to buy it for about 25 bucks American and you can now have wired which will work automatically with Windows with the software with the Mac and you'll be able to uh, use this um, receiver and hook it up to your Windows computer automatically or use that software and use this receiver with a wireless so we got that covered now Windows and Mac recognizes uh, this uh, with the drivers and everything it recognizes all the buttons and everything set that way as far as PlayStation goes there is a way to connect to Windows with your PlayStation wired or wireless but we're not going to go over that in this but I will show you on the Mac how you can connect this with Bluetooth using the wire first to pair it up with Bluetooth and then you could disconnect the wire fully charged and you can play on your Mac with all the buttons and everything works. So let's go back and I just want to show you the rest of those websites. Now I always make detailed videos. I'm sorry. I just have to go all the way with things. So this is where you get that 360 driver and you also can now download from the Mac App Store this um, joystick mapper and you can also get Joystick Show in the Mac App Store. Okay? And then 
there's a website with Joystick Mapper that you can go on and get presets uh, from forums so that you can play your favorite game, whether it's Minecraft or any of these Mac games that you play. Uh, it will have all the, will, you'll be able to download a file that has all the configuration for all the buttons that are most popular for the games. Like, you know, using certain buttons for the sword and for opening doors, jumping, things like that. And I'll show you a little bit more about that a little bit later. So we have all our websites. I'm going to put all these websites in the description and you'll be able to download everything you need to make your screen match my screen uh, with the three pieces of software here. So now you know about Xbox 360 controller and that is great because now you can use it on your Mac and you can use it traditionally with your Windows computer. Alright, so that was that software. Now we have this joystick show. Now joystick show is a way to visually see all your buttons and the numbers on the buttons that correspond to these pictures here. Like there's a B8 and things like that. So say I was to press a button and you see down here in the bottom of the screen here that every time you push a button there's a specific number related to that button. You do it with the the PlayStation and you'll see all your buttons. This just makes it so much easier when we use the next piece of software uh, that's here, Joystick Mapper. Now when you get Joystick Mapper uh, from the Mac App Store and you download it, it will you'll be able to preset and change the button configurations on both of these controllers here. So in order to do that, first of all, when you pair your your PlayStation controller, you have to hook it in wired through your USB and you have to go into your Bluetooth and then you have to pair up with the wire. Uh, once you're paired up, that's it. You could disconnect the wire after that and now you'll see that it works on the screen here. You could see all the buttons work, every single button, including the select and start and, and all these trigger buttons at the back. Then the same thing with this. Once you have that receiver hooked up wirelessly, a wire control, wireless controller, you can see all the buttons. If you have a wired control, you're going to see all the buttons. So that's everything. That's connected. This is the most important part right here. Now once you get that done, you could pretty much be done with this uh, Xbox 360 controller. You can close that out. And now we can just have our little joystick show right over here. Uh, these two pieces of software are connected with the same company. Uh, they recommend that you download both of them. And now we have our nice little pictures that we can look at and kind of uh, you know give you an idea what to do. So now with preset, there's different things you can do. You can first go in here and you can go and find a bunch of presets already. So we're going to load examples. And what's going to happen is it's going to load up examples. Now remember, these are both showing up. You can see all the buttons work. So if you wanted to play specific things, like for instance, you want to set up your own little preset, you can do that. And you have examples here where it's Xbox 360 gamepad and down here you can have PlayStation 4 gamepad. So right off the bat you can just use these by putting the check mark into where you want it, what you want to use. Uh, you have to keep this software open while you're playing your game. You just put it in the background. You can even minimize it once you have that check mark there. So let's do a check mark here on the Xbox 360 gamepad. You can also combine it so that you can use your mouse, your keyboard, and the gamepad, um, and scroll wheel and everything else. But let's just set up our own little one. Okay, I want to take the check mark off there, and we're going to set up our own one. So we're going to hit here, and we're going to open up this piece right here. Now this opens up. Okay, let me just move this out of the way right here. So we're going to open up this and what you do is you add new joystick right and then you're going to add you're going to write in what game 
you want to set it up for. So say I wanted to set it up for, I don't know, a zombie game that I have on my computer that I'll show you uh, later. Z-O-B-I-E. All right, so this is whatever, zombie, okay? And you can put a tag there so you can find it. And then you have add new uh, bind or add new joystick. So we already have a joystick here. We're going to add a new bind to this. So once you add a new bind, now say you wanted to use the 360 controller. Actually, this is for the PlayStation controller because I have it set up for PlayStation. And you can hit, uh, you can hit, you can move a certain button like this, and then you can hit scan, and you can wait the five or six seconds that it tells you to wait, and it'll automatically find that button. But sometimes it doesn't work. Like my control is a little bit messed up because when I push forward it also moves the other one so we're gonna do this manually so what we do is we go here and we hit button okay and then we press a button here and on the on the shower it's number 13 okay so this is a circle here is number 13 so we're gonna do button number 13 okay and we're gonna simulate a keyboard uh, thing so say I wanted to make this a jump button now in the particular game that I'm playing I know the controls for the keyboard and say the jump was the space bar so we go here and we hit space bar we go down here and we look for space bar so we hit the space bar here and now we're set up with this so now you go ahead and you go along and you hit all these different buttons and you find out what button that you have uh, on the on the con on the joystick show and you configure these buttons now you can also configure these buttons with different things like you can use your arrow keys you can simulate your arrow keys your modifier keys other keys as well as all the function keys um, you can even set it up where you can use uh, mouse buttons like the left click or the right click or the middle click uh, mouse motion like going forward or back or whatever the wheel and everything else so you can also set up not only buttons but your access buttons and your hats so you can you know go like this and you could see that it's two now on here on this controller we see here B15 okay so B15 or I'm sorry on the hat here you see A2 um, minus A2 minus so if you were to use uh, an access button you can do uh, 2 and do a minus so now you have A2 minus and we're gonna make that um, you know A2 minus will make that look left or something like that and you know in the game if you're playing and you hit the A or something it's look left then you set up that keyboard key to look left uh, or the A you set it up for A so you go up here and you set it up for A you know what I mean so then you have it all set now once you're all done you can test out you know all your buttons and say alright this is the buttons that I have it works perfectly now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna close this and what's going to happen is it's going to show up here zombie so all you do is click here you put the check mark there and then you minimize it or just leave it up on the screen you start up your favorite game that you configured with the keyboard and now you can play that game no problem it works perfect um, I'm going to show you an example uh, I have the presets here now if you wanted to uh, set up presets from the web I'm going to show you that um, if you go to the website here and you click on uh, get new presets so you get new presets and it says here user made presets so you click here and you go on a form and you can go and say I want to use Minecraft with Xbox 360 you click that and then you download this here and what will happen is it will download and you'll have it here and then what you do is you pretty much can save this file so you save it 
uh, and you can actually, because I have it on multiple screens, you can actually go here and open up the folder, open a preset folder, okay? You click that open, and you take that file that you save, and you save as, and you save it into preset folder under joystick mapper. And your preset goes in here, and then you'll see that it's Minecraft. And once you save it, it comes in as a text file. And then what will happen is it'll show up here. It'll say PlayStation, uh, I mean, uh, Xbox 360 for Minecraft. And then you just click here and, you, you know, you click on the check mark. And then when you open up Minecraft, it'll be with what a lot of people use. And you might like it. And if you need to change it around a little bit, you can just go right into settings here and change a couple of the keys so that it works. So pretty much that's how you do it. I mean, it, it's so easy to do. Uh, I'm going to give you all those websites in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can always reach me on Google Plus or Twitter, and I will go and answer your questions. If you a follower of my channel, I always help people out. Anybody has a question, you'll always get an answer from me within a day or so. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you see in other videos, they really don't go into all this. Um, you know, basically some of these, just these presets here work fine. Uh, you might end up playing the game and find out, oh, you know, um, you know, I had this, I used to use the space bar and I hit that button, but I want to change it to that button. And you can always change it. Being that you have this joystick show, you could see what button is which. And then you have these pictures here. I'm even going to down have you see these pictures here. Uh, and you, you're going to be able to do all this configuration, no problem. I'm sorry, I'm so confused. I'm just trying to put two controllers into one video. I should have probably done it separate. But basically, you get the idea um, that you can map your keys. You can see your keys that you're mapping. And then the other piece of software, uh, you can, uh, you know, work with the uh, Mac using the... Uh, 360 uh, controller. So let's use this preset here. That was uh, an example. And I'm going to show you now how to play a game and how it looks. So we're going to play this zombie game right here. And I'm using my mouse as well. And I can just play. There we go. So I move around, no problem, and I can just use this, and it automatically fires in the direction that I point it. I have to move around. I can still use my mouse. I have to reload. Do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I'm available in the comments and on Twitter. I'll answer you back as soon as I can. I'm sure within a day or so. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the comments.